God Church. I request us to stand on our feet this evening, even as we start our service. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. I will come as to the presence of God this evening. God is here to touch you. He's here to heal you. He's here to restore broken dreams, lost destinies. He's restoring this evening. Praise God. The Bible says in the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 17, that upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance, there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Isaiah 54, verse 1, that sing, O ye barren woman, ye that did not travail. Praise God. The word of God invites that barren woman to sing, even if there's no hope. Even if there's no sign for a future, good future, there's an invitation for that barren woman to sing. For in the presence of God, is anything can happen. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. So I just, I just want you to open your heart and just speak to God this evening. Tell him he's good. Tell him he's worthy. Tell him he's lovely. Tell him he's awesome. You can't lack something to tell him in his presence. You don't have to ask him for anything. Just tell him he's good. Tell him he's, tell him he's worthy. Tell him he's awesome. Tell him he's excellent. Tell him you love him. Yes, Lord, we love you. We love you. Where when you are job upon We love you, Lord. How we love you. We love you. We love you. Shela ba 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 bozila. Somebody raise your worship this evening, oh. Come on, fill this room with worship.
gente vai deixar de ser. Aleluia. Já de ser. you are exalted in this place. Yes, Lord Jesus, you are seated in majesty. You are exalted in majesty. Nobody questions your authority, Jesus. You have no rival. You have no equal. You have no competitor in heaven and on earth. Nobody questions your authority, Jesus. That's why you give you a clap over in this evening. Clap your hands, all ye people. Clap your hands, all ye people, and shout to Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Our God is great. Tell your neighbor, our God is great. Our, our God is strong. Our God is higher than any other. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. What are you turning to? I open the eyes of the blind. No
Just love on the Lord. Tell him he's worthy. Tell him he's faithful. Tell him he's great. Tell him he's good. Tell him he's awesome. Tell him he's wonderful. You can't lack words to tell him. How we love you. Because you first love us, oh God. Do not compare the blood. Oh. You alone are all. You are Lord of faith, Jesus. You are Lord of grace. Nobody like you, Jesus. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way, have your way, have your way. Have your way. We open our hearts this evening, oh God. We surrender our burdens unto you, Lord. You sent forth your word and healed our disease. You are great, yes, you are. We love you, we love you. We're in your job, Papa. Trying to help me, God, oh, yeah. To kiss him, a Where the church say to know me God or say
Just lift up your hands before the Lord, tell him, Father, I have come to worship you. I have come to give you thanks. I have come to give you glory. I have come to give you honor. Nikisema wewe ni Mungu. Nikisema kuna kama wewe. Nikisema wewe ni mweza yote. Who can compare to you, my Father? You are worthy to be exalted. You are worthy to be magnified. You are worthy to be lifted up on high. In the mighty name of Jesus. And this evening, oh God, we are in your house. We have gathered to give you praise. We have gathered to give you worship. We have gathered to give you honor. We have gathered to give you adoration. In the mighty name of Jesus. Where can we find a God who is faithful like you? Where can we find a Savior who is like you, Father? Be exalted this evening, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come and reign in your power. Come and reign in your might. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, how we love you. How we exalt you. How we honor your name, O oh Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we lift up our hands to you, Jehovah. To the great I am. To the King of kings. To the Lord of lords. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come and receive your worship tonight. Come and receive your adoration tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we have come to honor you. We have come to magnify you, Jesus. We have come to declare your love. We have come to declare your mercies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, to my new amikono ye to buana. To kisema we when he move. Hallelujah. No one can compare to you, Jehovah. You are great, O oh Father. We are standing here because of your goodness. We are standing because of your love, Jehovah God. Whatever the enemy has had planned about, Father, you did not allow. Father, we thank you. Church, I want us to thank the Lord for his faithfulness. I want you to thank him for his love. If you have experienced his goodness, if you have tested of his kindness, I want you to give him thanks this evening. Tell him, thank you, Jehovah God, that you have brought me from the month of January, February, March, April, May. Now we are in June. We want to give you praise. Tell him, thank you for the gift of life. Tell him, thank you for the gift of family. Tell him, thank you for allowing you tonight to be found in his house. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, oh God. When I look back, Jesus, all I see is your work. When I look back, I see your handwriting on my life. Jehovah God, thank you for raising a standard against the enemy. Thank you for preserving my life, Abba Father. Thank you for renewing my strength. When I was about to give up, Father, you did not allow. Jehovah, I give you thanks. Oh God, when the spirit of death was hovering around me, Father, I thank you because you rebuked it in the name of Jesus. Father, we worship you, oh God. We thank you, our Father, that you have brought us into the month of June. Thank you for January. Thank you for February. Thank you for March. Thank you for April. Thank you for May, our Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Indeed, oh God, we can say that you have been our Ebenezer. Thank you for your faithfulness, oh God. Thank you for your love that is unending. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God Almighty, I will give you praise. I will give you honor. I will give you majesty. In the name of Jesus, my soul will not forget all of your benefits. My soul will not forget Jehovah. And that is why I have come to give you praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, you have forgiven my sins. You have healed my sicknesses and diseases. Father, we want to thank you. You have redeemed our lives from the pits, oh God. In the name of Jesus, you have crowned us, oh God, with righteousness. Father, we thank you, King of glory. For turning around Jehovah God the plans of men even when we were rejected Jehovah God when we were despised 
our Father. You turned our Father with your love, Jehovah, and you looked upon us, oh God. We want to say thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise. We give you all the majesty in the mighty name of Jesus. Even this evening, our Father, it is you we have come to exalt. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for your compassion, oh God. Thank you for your graciousness, Adonai. Thank you, Jesus, for your abounding love in the name of the Lord. We thank you, Father. You have crowned us with an beauty, oh God, instead of ashes. Oh God, you have turned around our morning, oh God, into dancing. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for giving us the garment of praise instead of despair, our Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. And even as we continue to pray, I want you to lift up your voice to the Lord. I want you to tell him tonight it is him we want to experience in this place. It is the Lord we are inviting in Sitamburuburu. It is the Lord we want to have an encounter with. Tell him to come and to reign in this place. Tell him to come and to do whatever only he can do in the name of Jesus. Tell him in Buruburu we have no other God. Tell him it is only him that we are waiting for. Father, in the name of Jesus, tonight as Sitamburuburu we come to you. We come to the throne of grace because there we find mercy and grace which helps us in time of trouble. Oh God, look upon us in your eyes of mercy. Tonight, Jehovah God, many are waiting upon you. Come, Jehovah God. Come, Abba Father. Come in this place, Jesus. Let no one miss an encounter with you. Father, we come to you, Lord. We are trusting upon you for healing. We are trusting upon you for restoration. We are trusting upon you for open doors. We are trusting upon you, Father. So come in the name of Jesus. Father, we want you to come and take your place. Come and take your place in our midst this evening. Come and give someone a testimony, Father. Come and turn someone's life around, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Come and rebuke, oh God, the devourer, in the name of Jesus. Come and release your glory tonight. Father, we are waiting upon you. Your word says that they that wait upon the Lord, you shall renew their strength. Oh God, come. Oh God, we are here, Father. Our eyes are fixed on you tonight. Our hope is in you, Father. Our trust is in you, Jesus. Oh God, come Holy Spirit, oh God. Pour your spirit without measure in the name of Jesus. Tonight, oh God, pour your spirit, the life-giving spirit. Your word says that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberation. So, Father, this evening we are asking for your spirit, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We are asking for your presence. Where your presence is, there is fullness of joy. And in the right hand, pleasures forevermore. Father, we are waiting upon you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we have not come to see man. We have not come to encounter with man. We have come to encounter with you, Jehovah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And even as we pray, church, I want you to go before the Lord and confess of your sins before him. Tell him, Father, let nothing hinder me from receiving you tonight. Come and have mercy upon me. Plead the blood of Jesus upon your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you tonight. Lord, we ask for mercy. If there is anything that will cause us, Father, not to have an encounter with you, oh God, we are praying that, Father, in the name of Jesus, you will lift up every burden in the name of the Lord. Every bondage tonight, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, forgive us for our sins. Forgive us for where we have failed you in the name of Jesus. Forgive us for what we have touched. Forgive us for what we have looked at. Forgive us for our discussions. Forgive us for the words we have uttered against you. Oh God Almighty, we ask for forgiveness tonight. Your word says that if we confess our sins to you, you are faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us of our unrighteousness. 
Father, may you have mercy upon us, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus, forgive us, Lord. Forgive us for the sins of our people. Forgive us for the sins of the church. Forgive us for the sins of Islands. Forgive us for anything that may cause us, Father, not to stand before you. For, Father, we pray this evening that the meditation of our hearts and the words of our mouth will be pleasing before you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cry to you tonight. Have mercy upon us, O oh God. May the blood of Jesus Christ speak tonight. In the name of Jesus, Father, we ask you to consecrate us. Consecrate us, Father, for yourself. Tonight, may you consecrate us, our Father. May you look upon us with your eyes of mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Joshua verse, Joshua chapter 17 verse 13 says, Go consecrate the people. Tell them, consecrate yourselves in preparation for tomorrow. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says. They are devoted things among you, Israel. You cannot stand against your enemies until you remove them. God talking to the children of Israel, he says there are some things amongst you that for unless you remove them, you cannot defeat your enemies. And this moment, I want us to go before the Lord and cry for his mercy. The Bible says that when Achan had taken the things that were not of God, he hid him. And when the children of Israel went for war, they were defeated and they asked themselves, what have we done? Tonight I want us to cry. You don't know. You, you are okay, but the person next to you, you don't know. We want to cry that nothing will cause the Lord not to move in this place tonight in the name of Jesus. We want to cry that God may forgive us, that he may cleanse us, that he may sanctify us. If there is anyone in our midst, oh, that has touched things that he has not supposed to, that God will have mercy in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. We are only but mortal men, Father. We are weak in our ways, oh God. May you forgive us tonight. For Jehovah God, we want you tonight. We want you to move in our midst. How can we stand before our enemies with the sin in our hands, with the blood in our hands? How can we lift up our petitions, oh God? Master, may you forgive us this evening. Forgive us for the sins of our people. Forgive us for the sins of the church. Forgive us for the sins of the nation. Forgive us for the sins of our families. Oh God Almighty, forgive us tonight. We want your presence, oh God. We want you to come and move. You promised the children of Israel that if they ask for forgiveness, that you would come and visit with them, Jehovah. Father, in accordance to your word, as Buruburu tonight, we ask for your mercy. We ask for your grace. We ask for your forgiveness. In the name of Jesus, there are things we have touched. There are things we have looked upon the things we have said oh God may you forgive us Abba Father oh God this evening whatever the accuser of the brethren may present before you let it not be acceptable Father in the mighty name of Jesus Father we ask you to forgive us to Samehe Buana to Samehe Mumbuetu to Samehe Father have mercy upon us oh God if your word tells us if we say we are without sin then we deceive ourselves. Oh God, we are crying, Father, that you may have mercy upon us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, I want you to come and to move in our lives, Abba Father. Yes, Lord, we are crying before you, Father, because we know in a few minutes you want to do things in our lives. In a few minutes, you want to break the enemies before us. So, Father, we prepare our hearts tonight that we may receive you, Jehovah. We pray, prepare ourselves tonight that we may encounter of your presence in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, come and take your place now. In the mighty name of Jesus, come and take your place.
place now, Father. In the name of Jesus, come and fight against our enemies, oh God. Come and help us this evening, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, be exalted, our Father. Father, we are here, oh God. Come and take your place now, Abba Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, it is you we desire, oh God. It is you we want to move in our lives, oh Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And at this particular moment, I want us to pray over the month of June. I want you to prophesy over this month. I want you to speak restoration. I want you to speak God's favor upon your life. I want you to say that in the month of June, I will walk in the grace of God. I want you to speak divine protection. Speak divine provision. Speak that in this month, there will be open doors for you and your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, there are things that the Lord has promised you. Say tonight, Father, in this month, I will walk in them. In the mighty name name of Jesus. Father, I come before you, Jehovah. I command my month of June in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, because you have given me this month. And Father, your word says that you shall declare a thing and it shall be established. Father, I want to declare that in the month of June, I will walk in the favor of God. My family will experience supernatural grace in the mighty name of Jesus. We will walk in divine protection of our Father in the mighty in the name of Jesus. Father, in this month you will rebuke the spirit of death. In the name of Jesus. Father, you will speak life in our businesses. You will open doors, our Father, that no man can open Jehovah, that no man can shut our Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray for divine provision. In the name of Jesus. We pray for employment. In the name of Jesus. That Father, you're going to do a miracle in our lives. Father, we prophesy to the man, O oh God. You told Ezekiel, prophesy to the dry bones. Father, we prophesy in this month of June, in the name of Jesus, that someone will encounter with you, our Father. In the name of Jesus, they that wait upon the Lord, you shall renew their strength. Father, in the name of Jesus, it is in this month, O oh God, that we will receive our breakthrough. It is in this month, O oh God, that we will receive our healing. In the name of Jesus, they that have waited for years, our Father, in this month, O oh God, they will enter into their promise. In the name of Jesus. Father, we praise and honor your name. In this month, oh God, we are praying that our children will be elevated. In the name of Jesus, that in this month, oh God, they that are seeking you, Jehovah God, they will find you. In the name of Jesus, they that are looking for godly spouses. In the month of June, Jehovah God, you will locate them in the name of Jesus. Because you tell us in your word that none shall lack a mate. In the name of Jesus, we prophesy into the Bible, our Father. We declare that the month of June will not be ordinary. In the name of Jesus, we will have supernatural encounters, our Father. In the name of the Lord, in this month we will encounter with you, Father. We will have testimonies upon testimonies. We will grow from strength to strength. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray. We are praying, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you will come through for us, Abba Father. In the name of Jesus, what did not come in January, what did not come in February, March, April, May, and June, will come in this month, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you ordain it, Abba Father. May you ordain it tonight, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we stand in agreement. We stand with your promises, Abba Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. And even as we continue to pray, I want you to pray for your family. I want you to pray that there will be deliverance. I want you to pray that there will be salvation. I want you to pray that in this month, we, our families will be elevated. Where there is sickness, where our children have gone wayward, the Lord will bring them back in the name of Jesus. There are things as a family we have been trusting upon. 
May the Lord answer you tonight in the name of Jesus. Let there be an open beginning tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you for our families, oh God. We love them, Father. And we are praying for them tonight in the name of Jesus. That in this month, oh God, we will have a testimony as a family. We have been waiting upon you, Jehovah. And your word says that they that trust upon the Lord, they shall never suffer shame. Oh, Father, we pray that, Lord, you will give our families testimonies in the name of Jesus. Father, we speak to marriages. We pray that they will be restored in the name of Jesus. Jesus, where there is pain, where there is no love, Abba Father, we speak your love in the name of Jesus. Oh God Almighty, we pray and ask for reconciliation in families in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for deliverance where there is oppression, Abba Father. We pray against it, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray and ask, Father, may you lift up your banner tonight in the name of Jesus that our families will stand in the name of Jesus where there is witchcraft, where there is sorcery, where there is divination. We come against it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. We cancel the schemes of the enemy. We cancel every plan of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Our families will stand. Our families will arise in the name of Jesus where there has been death with speak life, oh God. Where there is lack, we speak abundance in the name of Jesus. Where there is rejection, oh God, we speak your honor in the name of Jesus. Father, you've given us a responsibility to pray for our families. We will take our place. We are praying for our children tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Our children will not go wayward in the name of Jesus. Our children, oh God, will not die young in the name of Jesus. Our children will fulfill your, their destiny in the name of Jesus. Our children will fulfill your purposes in the name of Jesus. Our marriage will fulfill your purposes in the name of Jesus. Father, we rebuke every spirit of divorce. We rebuke every spirit of separation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are praying for our beloved who are in addiction centers, who are in rehabilitation centers. Father, may you restore them in the name of Jesus. Our beloved who are caught up in drug addictions, Oh, Father, we are crying for them, Jehovah God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Our children who are in rehabilitation centers, our spouses who are in rehabilitation centers, our brothers and sisters who are in rehabilitation centers, we call them tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. We release them tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Our family members who are admitted in hospitals tonight, Father, we speak a healing, oh God. We send your word this evening in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are crying for our beloved. We are crying for our family members. Oh God. Their agenda of the enemy will not stand. Our families will arise again in the name of Jesus. Shakara Baboshe. Oh God, where there has been enchantments and divination and sorcery, where there has been witchcraft, Father, tonight we stand in the name of Jesus. We speak against it, oh God. We speak against negative cycles in our families. We speak against negative patterns in our families. In the name of Jesus, Father, did you not promise that the father will not be punished for the sin of the child? That the child will not be punished for the sin of the father? Oh God, tonight we separate ourselves. We declare that our families, oh God, will stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, this evening we erect the altar of God in our families. We pray that our family altar will stand again in the name of Jesus. Come on, continue crying for your families. The grace of God is in this place. Continue crying for your children. 
Cry for your spouses. Do not give up on the Lord. He is faithful. He is true. That situation is not too hard for him. That situation is not too difficult for our Father. Have you not heard that there is nothing impossible with our God? Have you not heard that everyone that calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved? Father, we are calling upon you tonight. We cancel that spirit of death in the name of Jesus. Our family members will live. They will live in the name of Jesus. Father, surround them with a hedge of protection. Surround them with a hedge of fire. In the name of Jesus, oh God Almighty, we speak to them, Father. In the name of Jesus, we prophesy to our families that they will rise again. In the name of Jesus, that Father in this place, oh God, every family will rise again in the power of the Holy Spirit. Where there was shame, our Father, may you bring honor in the name of Jesus. Oh, Shakara Baboshe. Where there was pain, oh God, may you bring comfort in the name of Jesus. Rakasa Talabayanda. Father, we refuse every unwriting of the enemy in our families. We refuse every plan that is not of God against our families. In the mighty name of Jesus, in this family month, we are praying that in this altar, there will be restorations, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we are speaking that in this month, oh God, as we come and sit under your feet, Abba Father, you're going to revive our families again. You will revive the men, Abba Father. They will play the role of, of priests in the name of Jesus. Our mothers and women will play their role in their families in the name of Jesus. Our children will play their role of a father in the mighty name of Jesus oh God we will no longer be called forsaken we will no longer be called rejected families but father you're giving us a name tonight in the mighty name of Jesus father you're giving us a name again they that were called poor you're going to make them rich in the name of Jesus Oh God, is there anything that is too hard for you, Jesus? Someone is crying for their family, oh God. Tonight is the night in the name of Jesus. Come, come and transform them in the name of Jesus. That when they look at us again, they will say that indeed this is the doing of the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, do it tonight for your glory. Do it tonight for your glory in the name of Jesus. Rekazatayababoshe. I want you to cry out tonight that the Lord will establish your families. The Bible says, give the Lord no rest until he establishes your family. No one will pray for your family. You, it is only you who can pray for them. One more minute, just cry before the Lord. Tell him what you want to see in your family. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, you can do it, oh God. You can set us free, Father. Where we have been ashamed because we belong to this family, Lord, tonight. May you give us a name again, Father. There are families that have never gone to which doctors. They have put their trust in you and only you, oh God. Won't you answer them tonight? Oh, Father, won't you come tonight and touch this family, oh God. Won't you come and raise this one from the deathbed in the name of Jesus? Won't you come and heal this person, oh God? Won't you heal them, Jehovah, for the glory and honor of your name? Father, tonight we are praying, have mercy, have mercy. When you look upon this family, have mercy in the name of Jesus. When you look upon these spouses, oh God, have mercy. When you look upon our husbands, our wives, our children, have mercy. When you look upon this single parent, may you have mercy. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. 
Father, we thank you because of what you continue to do in our midst, oh God. And even as we continue, Lord, at the place of prayer, may you continue to restore in the name of Jesus. May you continue to perform miracles in our, in our service, oh God. Many have come seeking instruction from you, Father. Answer in the name of Jesus. Many desire to know where can I go. Father, answer that prayer in the name of Jesus. Someone desires that you may strengthen them again. Father, may you strengthen in the name of Jesus. Father, we are here. We are here, oh God. Come and do what only you can do. We thank you, Father. We bless you and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The people of God said, Amen and Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Bona Yesu Asifiwe. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Amen. Amen. It's good to see you. you. Can kindly please take your seat in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are in the house of prayer. Amen. And whenever we come in the presence of the Lord, we must be expectant. Because the Bible says that he never gathers his people in vain. Amen. And even today, that is our testimony. At this particular moment, I want to invite us to worship the Lord with our tithe and offering. And then we will continue. So I will pray for the offerings. Father, we thank you for your blessings. Everything that we have comes from you. And Lord, we just bring a portion of it just to say thank you. We ask that you may fight for us. You may open doors. You may bring restoration in our businesses. You will bless the works of our hands. There are many who desire, Lord, even to just have employment. By the fact that they've brought something into your house, may you remember them. We thank you, Father, and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. You can kindly feel free to come and give from the of the Lord.
We thank God for his faithfulness. I want you to kindly turn with me to the book of Luke chapter 6. Luke chapter 6, we'll read from verse 12 to 16. We'll just share briefly and then we'll go into prayer. Tonight I want to talk about tarrying at the place of prayer. Tarrying at the place of prayer. Luke chapter 6 from verse 12 to 16. If you're there, I'll read. The Bible says, Now it came to pass in those days that when he went out to the mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God, and when it was day, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve whom he also named apostles. Verse 14 says, Simon, whom he also named Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James and John, Philip and Bartholomew, Matthew and Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon called the Zealot, Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who also became a traitor. It's amazing when you look at this portion of scripture, we are presented with the man Jesus. Of course, we know that he was fully God and fully man. But when I was considering this text, something caught my eye that even Jesus Christ had to pray the all night, the whole night, because there was something important that he wanted to do. He was tasked with appointing disciples whom he wanted to use to grow the church. And Jesus was surrounded by very many people. The Bible says that wherever he went, he preached, he spoke so powerfully with authority. And men would look at him and hear his teachings and they would be amazed. And so he would gather followers for himself. And so whenever he stood, there were so many people around him. Knowing the agenda and the task ahead, he had to do something. He had to appoint disciples whom, of course, after he had departed, he would leave in charge of the church. And the Bible says that on that day, he went out to the mountain to pray. I, 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 I tried to imagine what happened as he was praying. How come he prayed the whole night? Could it be that he was presenting these people one by one before the Lord? Could it be that they were vetting and he's having a conversation with the father and they're asking, is John sufficient? Will he do the, jo the job? Is Judas, will he be the betrayer? Will he do, will he play his role? And he's having a conversation with the father the whole night because the Bible says that in the morning after he had prayed, he did not inquire, he started to call out names. I want to present to us that in the days that we are living in, we ought to make decisions in life. Every single day we are making important decisions. Some of us are wondering, should I invest in this business, yes or no? Is this the best business partner? Some of us are wondering, should I relocate from Nairobi and go to Nakuru? Should I leave Kenya and go to another country? We are at a crossroad. Important decisions in life. And someone tonight is here and you're wondering, you've been presented with these two things and you're asking, how can I know which one is right? I want to present to you this. Tarring at the place of prayer. And it's amazing that Jesus Christ, for him, he had to stay the whole night to pray. I'm not telling us today to go the whole night. The thing I'm saying is ought to know for how long should you stay at that place of prayer? And I can tell you how you will know. When morning came, Jesus had had all the 12 disciples. How will you know that it is time for you to leave the place of prayer when you get the answers? I want to submit to you, friends, that Jesus is faithful, that God is faithful. The psalmist says in Psalm 65 verse 2, To him who answers prayers, all men shall come. I want to tell you, go before the Lord in prayer. Do not make that decision hastily. Do not be too quick to make that decision. Ask the Lord. Because just as that decision was important for God, that decision that you're about to make is important 
to you and to God. Something I'll tell us tonight is what is important to you is important to God. So as you go and communicate with him, he will give us a solution. Praise the name of Jesus. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, Call unto me, and I will show you great and mighty things, things you know nothing about. Call upon the Lord for that business partner, for that godly spouse, for that, you know, the, the decision to take your child to another school. Call upon the Lord for that job that um, you've received two and th or three applications. You don't know what to do. Call upon the name of the Lord. Going back to Jesus, the Bible says, and he continued all night in prayer because he knew who God is. He knew that if I stay here for this long, I will get a solution. Do you want to know how you will get the direction for life? Do you know how you will get the direction and the secret for your life? Stay with the Lord at the place of prayer. Allow him to speak to you. Allow him to give you that decision. The Bible says that he knows the end from the beginning. He knows the end. When he looks at you, when you start to pray, he already knows the end. So he will lead you and he will lead you well. The Bible says when it was day, he called his disciples to himself and from them, he chose the 12 disciples. How can I present this to you? What confidence do I have? He tells us in Matthew chapter 7, from verse 7, ask, ask, seek, knock, ask and it will be given to you, seek and you shall find, knock and it will be opened to you. We, 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 we worship a good God, we worship a faithful God, ask him. Lastly, I want to present to us Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 16. We are at crossroads. Being at crossroads is not wrong. It is right. But don't stay there for long. He says, this is what the Lord says. Stand at the crossroads and look. Ask for the ancient paths. Ask where the good way is and walk in it. And you will find rest for your souls. I want to tell you that there is a path that when you take, you will find rest for your soul. I want to tell you that there is a path that you, when you take it, you will find rest for your soul. Go back to Jesus. Go back to your maker. Go back to your father and ask him, Lord, I'm at, at this crossroad. Should I go left? Should I go right? The Bible says that there is a good way. And the Lord is willing to reveal to us. And I believe in, in my heart that there is someone tonight you will find rest for your soul because you'll make the right decision. Let him satisfy you early in the morning so that you may rejoice all the days of your life and you may be glad in it. When you enter the wrong path, you will be miserable. You will be in pain. But when you take the right path, we will find rest for our souls. With that said and done, I just want you to be upstanding. And I want you to pray for yourself. I don't know what decision is before you. I don't know what you want to do in this time. But I feel so strongly in my heart that we are at a crossroad. And we want God to show us the way. The Bible says that whether you turn to the left or to the right, you'll hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, hallelujah, walk in it. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you this evening. I thank you, Lord, because you know the channel and the course of my life. Your word says that you order the steps of a righteous man. Father, may you order my step in the name of Jesus. Father, I am at a crossroad. I want you, Lord, to lead me, Jehovah God, that I may not go on or take the wrong path. Father, I ask you that in the name of Jesus, may you show us the way to go. May you show us the way to go in the name of Jesus. Father, we want to take the right path. 
the part that will give us rest, the part that will give us hope, the, fa- the part that, Father, when we walk, we will find you. We will meet you in the name of Jesus. Father, there's someone tonight who desires Jehovah, that you may speak clearly, Jehovah God. May you do it in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, I pray that you release a grace this minute. Open someone's ears, oh God. Open someone's eyes, Abba Father, that they will hear from you, Jehovah. In the mighty name of Jesus, communicate with them. Communicate them according to the ancient path, which is your word. Communicate in the name of Jesus. Reveal your truth, my Father. Lord God Almighty, we want to come to the place of prayer that we may find instruction. Just like Jesus did, he prayed the whole night. Father, may you give us strength to be to tarry at the place of prayer in the name of Jesus. Some of us need to go for a whole week. Some of us need to go for three days. Father, may you give us the grace in the name of Jesus to tarry at the place of prayer that, Father, we may find that which you want us to do in the name of Jesus. Father, many are crying out to you tonight, Jehovah. May you hearken unto their call, Abba Father. Some are about to make a life decision. Some are about to enter Jehovah into relationships. Some are about to enter into partnerships. Father, may you order their steps in the name of Jesus. Some are about to make a relocation decision. They are about to choose whether to go to that city or not. Whether to stop serving or to continue. Father, in the name of Jesus, may you help them oh God someone is about to decide whether to start a business or not whether to resign or to continue in the name of Jesus someone wants to hear father should I go for that surgery in the name of Jesus father in the name of the Lord we are asking you to help us oh God in the name of Jesus we want to make the right decision just as you help Jesus may you help us our father in the name of Jesus come and help us oh father we want to know the way which is right we want to know the path which is right in the mighty name of Jesus we want to know the path which we should take in the name of Jesus father may you help us have mercy upon us tonight oh God some of us have taken the wrong path already oh God and we are struggling father may you help us may you take us back Jehovah to the crossroad in the name of Jesus some of us have entered into wrong dealings father in the name of Jesus may you help us some have entered in the wrong relationships may you help us in the name of Jesus father may you satisfy us early in the morning in the name of Jesus we don't want to wait for 20 years we don't want to wait for 30 years we want you to speak to us oh God that we may start to walk in your ways in the mighty name of Jesus Father you are faithful you tell us to come unto your name we are calling unto your name we are calling unto your name in the name of Jesus we want you to speak to us in the name of Jesus your word says my sheep knows my voice Father in the name of Jesus speak to us tonight our Father reveal to us your ways reveal to us the way we should walk in our Father in the mighty name of Jesus Father we are calling upon you O God may you answer us tonight in the name of Jesus speak to us concerning our families speak to us concerning everything in our lives speak to us Abba Father in the name of Jesus O God Almighty help us Father to develop Jehovah God the muscle of prayer that we will wait at the place of prayer in the name of Jesus we will not give up Abba Father we will not follow the ways of man we will follow you instead Jehovah in the mighty name of Jesus Makatalabo Santarabo Hallelujah. Come on, just pray to him. Let him give you an instruction this night. Let him speak to you specifically. Let him tell you exactly what he wants you to do. Let him tell you exactly where you ought to go. Let him direct your path tonight. He is a faithful God. He knows the end from the beginning. 
He knows where you're supposed to be. He knows your future. He knows your today. He knows your tomorrow. He knows where you're supposed to be. Let him direct your path. Let him order your steps in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, reveal Jehovah God your ways in our lives. Hold our hands again, our Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And even as we pray for direction, I want us to pray for our nation. We are about to go into a very important exercise. We want the Lord to order our steps. What is the will of God? What is the will of our Father over this nation? I want you to pray and ask that the Lord may take over and that he may reign in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for peaceful campaigns. I want you to pray that God will help us, that he will guide us as a people. We will not be lured into things that are not of God. In the name of Jesus, let him order our steps. Choose for us men and women who come from you. Father, we are here. We are crying for over our nation. We are praying, Father, that you may remember us. We are praying about Father that you may lead us in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Shakatalabo Santaraba. Oh, God Almighty, you are the Alpha. You are the Omega. You are the first and the last, oh God, even for our nation. worship him again with the shout of praises with those beautiful claps hallelujah to the Lamb of God because he is the ever present help in the moments of need and it is quite beautiful to be in the Lord's house amen can we appreciate the Lord once again Can we, can we just appreciate?
appreciate our pastor and we appreciate the music team the media team the ushers and all the ministries that are at stake serving the Lord even in this evening service our Jehovah God is faithful it is God that gives us direction that even in the moments that we find ourselves at the crossroads think of a road whereby you do not know whether to go backwards forward left right a junction with at least four roads many voices in the world you wonder what a kind of decision should i make but even in that one in the place of waiting in prayer god comes even as a nation we are at the crossroads until the lord gives us guidelines as he leads us by the indwelling spirit that we will make wiser decisions amen and we thank the lord those areas that you have actually trusted the lord in be it in the marketplace in the ministry in your relationships in parenting in marriage jehovah god is watching and is hearing is listening to our prayers and just believe that jehovah has done it he has answered amen and we thank the lord um we have our our pastors are actually in in uh, in ministry engagements but we were together all of us including our senior pastor uh even um, uh, pastor Ailey and pastor brenda they were the ones leading in the uh, midweek prayer service at the cbs today and that is why they are not here this evening but the rest part of the day we have been together and we thank god of his doing in our midst amen so we thank god even as we disperse we just pray that the lord shall watch over our lives amen and so father i thank you because of your people Jehovah, we bless your name. It is not because of our strength that we made it. You're the one that puts, Lord, your will and the desire and the passion that drives us to come to your house. So, Father, I thank you because of your people. I bless them, Lord. We decree and declare, Jehovah God, that your grace and favor will be their portion. May your favor locate them in those areas that they are waiting over you. May your eyes that draw to and fro, Lord, watch over their lives. May your right hand of power be upon them. May they find rest, Lord, at your feet and in your presence. And Father, even as we commission them, God, to go outside there, the remaining part of the week, Father, we commission them that you are going to help them to radiate your glory through love and service. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray, believing and trusting. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You can join in the words of benediction. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit with us now forevermore. Amen. And surely goodness shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And Jehovah God bless you mightily. Amen. What are you talking